Sandy Charles with DevilsDigest.com, and I'm joined by ASU running back Kaylin Bellage. We're here in Hollywood, Pac-12 Media Day. You flew on a private jet yesterday. <laughs> How are you enjoying all of this? No, it's cool. It's a great experience. Um, it's nice to be able to talk to all the other guys that are here as well. Um, just from different schools and, and just to talk to them, you know, a lot of us had offers from each other's school, you know what I'm saying? So we know there are other coaches and other players, so it's been a cool experience. Who's been the one, if you can tell me, like offhand, who you've really just clicked with and like really talked to here? Everybody. Um, Jacob Alcidek, one of the linemen from Arizona, Keyshawn Bieria, linebacker from Washington, um, Sam Darnold, Cam Smith, everybody. Okay. Everybody here is, is, is super cool. And a lot of these guys I've known before we even got here. Trey Watson, I've known him forever. Philip Lindsay, I've known him since I was in like the sixth grade. We're both from Colorado. So this has been a, a, a fun experience. Does it get you so excited just to start the season, just being here, and it gets your competitive juices just flowing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to Cam actually yesterday, Smith, and I was telling him like, hey, man, don't be sizing me up. <laughs> You know, like yeah. not yet. You know, yeah. so no, nah, but we're just we're just messing around and having a having a lot of fun. And um, but definitely, I'm competitive and um, I'm definitely get this season underway. Now let's talk a little football. Coach Graham has talked about the offense wanting to get back to its roots, being a run first and play action team, being a running back. That's got to be music to your ears. So, what are your thoughts on wanting to go back to the roots? Uh, it's exciting, um, but whatever we have to do to win football games, that's, that's what we'll do. If we have to throw the ball 60 times a game, that's fine. I'm just going to, uh, I mean, that's, that is what it is. So I want to win, and I've always been like that, whatever it takes to win. Now there's been a lot of overturn with coaches, assistant coaches, but luckily for running backs, you guys have John Simon from last year. How important is that to your personal growth as a running back? Uh, I can't even explain Coach Simon is really like another dad, and it's like my dad away from my dad, you know? And, you know, he just, he, t and most importantly, he teaches us faith, you know, and, 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 and being close with God, and we just appreciate him for that, and always keeping that in our heads just to do the right thing. But he takes care of us, and he played in the NFL. He teaches us a lot of the tricks of the trade and different things that maybe somebody else wouldn't be able to teach you. So I, I appreciate him, and I like him a lot. You're a leader on the team, a senior, but also voted a captain. What does that mean to you, and what does that role entail? It means a lot, especially because, because, because the coaches decided to vote. They decided to let the players vote yeah. and not them. So it means a lot coming from your peers, you know, instead of the coaches, well, I think he's a captain. No, the peers, the guys that are around you every day, all day long, chose the captains of this football team, and I was one of them, JoJo was one of them, so that meant a lot. What's your style in the locker room? What's the way that you lead these guys? I'm more of a lead by example guy, but I'm learning to use my voice more and you know, grow in my leadership in that regard. But um, definitely I'm a lead by example. And I, wanna, I wanna do it the right way first and then I want you to see how I did it and I want you to pick up on it quick and let's get moving. Now, whether it's the fans or the media, um, there's low expectations going into this season. But in your opinion, three things. Do you think this team is going to prove these critics wrong? What would be those three? Well, first of all, they're never right. They never pick right in the Pac-12. They say one team is going to win it every year, and they usually never do. So I don't, I don't really think too far into that. Um, but three things. First of all, we have the talent. Second of all, we, we have the discipline. And third, it's just putting it all together and making it all work. You know, it's, you see it a lot with NBA teams. You have four stars on the team, and they can't make it work. They can't win basketball games because they just don't mesh how they should. And that's the, that's the thing, you know, that we have to get done is, is, is meshing and, be, and becoming close. Now, I noticed before every game last year, you would take a, kneel on the, you would take a knee on the sideline mm -hmm. and just take a moment for yourself. What were you doing? What was that all about? I'm just thanking God, praying and being thankful for all the things that I have. There's a million people that wish they could be in the position that I am in right now. Um, we have a guy, a kid named Nash, and he's always around our facilities. He's in a wheelchair. He has cerebral palsy, and he, he can never play football. He'll never be able to play football, but he loves football. He watches reruns and reruns and reruns of our games like over and over. And I just think about him and, and, and keep him in the back of my mind and just always remember to be grateful. Thank you so much. For Kaylin Balaj, I'm Sandy Charles with TheDevilsDigest.com. Keep it right here. We have so much more coverage of Pac-12 and more fall camp. Actually, you have to get on a plane. They're heading back to practice today. So we'll see you guys later.